are always foisted with the requirements of the inner suburbs, what they see as a virtue in an area which is the most changed uh, environmentally in Australia, the inner suburbs, covered with concrete houses, tenements, high-rise roads. They don't, their lives don't change. Their lives stay exactly the same. But we get the wind factories, we get the solar panels, we get the cobweb of filth going all over our land, which is transmission lines, and we have the poorer people who pay for the power prices that they cannot afford. Order. That they cannot afford. Order. So as you bring this forward, you say to the people in our towns, in our weatherboard nine, you say, now you deserve to be poor so that we can feel good. You deserve to have power prices you can't afford. You, and the power goes onto the, onto the production of food, processing food. And it's all right. You can go through your shopping trolley, get rid of the meat, go to the mince. You can't afford the mince, go to the pasta. But the lady who can't afford the petrol to even get to town now, who can't afford a power bill so she has to turn off the power, pensioners who stay in bed because they can't afford their power, they're not worried about your 82 per cent renewable target by 2030. They're worried about the next power bill that's turning up on their table. I'm not saying for one second that renewables are not part of the plan. Not for one second. But there's a difference between saying I need carrots for dinner to I'm going to live on a diet of carrots. An entirely different concept. There's a difference between saying um, you know, I like sugar in my tea to saying I want to drink a cup full of sugar. I hear the member for how's like interjecting. So you will propose um, wind towers for your electorate, will you, member for Hasluck? Yep, there you go. I say to the people of Hasluck, she supports wind towers in her electorate. There are wind towers coming to Hasluck. They do. There we have it. They want to the people of McNamara, you are getting wind towers and transmission lines. Your member is standing up for you. He's doing a marvellous job. Here they come. Few transmission lines all night, just over your house. Bit of a bee field, bit of a bee field happening there. And you can have a few wind towers just all day. Once they start rusting for the rest of your life, be struck by lightning. Anyway, of course the member for McNamara, I don't know how you're going to go at the next election after that, mate, but it's, it's not going to be as good as you thought.